heart with a heart-filled gratitude and honor as I reflect upon the incredible privilege of being a part of the Great Green Wall Project here in Senegal. To work alongside the Great Green Wall Initiative is to witness the fusion and of dedication, innovation, and environmental consciousness. It is an endeavor that transcends borders, cultures, and backgrounds, uniting individuals from all walks of life under a common purpose to restore and protect our planet's fragile ecosystem. I must express my deepest appreciation to the visionary leaders who conceived this audacious process, project and to the people of Senegal who have embraced it with unwavering determination. When our Director General, Mr. Omar Ba, called me to action and gave me the unique opportunity to work with the Great Green Wall, I didn't hesitate to jump on board. After our discussions and hearing his story, I was completely taken back and left with the motivation to push and help the dream of the Great Green Wall to come to fruition. Born and raised in the very region where the Great Green Wall stands tall, Mr. Ba has a deep-rooted understanding of the challenges faced by the people who call this land their home. Through his personal journey, he has witnessed firsthand the devastating effects of desertification and climate change, as well as the resilient and indomitable spirit of the communities affected. His story has been a constant source of motivation for me as it highlights the profound effects that the Great Green Wall has on individuals and communities. It is through his experience that I have come to appreciate the significance of the, of the project beyond its ecological objectives. It is a testament to the human spirit, the triumph of hope over adversity, and the unwavering determination to create a better future. Mr. Omar Bar, thank you so much. It's truly an honor and a pleasure to work by your side, and you truly deserve this. The King Jr. said something. He said, if you want to fly, if you can't fly, run. And he said, if you can't run, work. And if you can't work, it means keep moving. And that's what I've seen at the spirit of uh, this time. Omar has displayed, you know, the resilient spirit. So what we invited him for the African Achievers Award, which was the 13th edition, thank you, which held at the UK Parliament. It's a very important award, very prestigious, that even the UK government also um, allowed the organization to host it inside the parliament. We have people from several, over 25 African countries, and we are being hosted by one of the um, renowned House of Lord member, um, Lord Simon Woolley. Uh, we invited, uh, Mr. when he was nominated, we invited him, and I will tell you this, the first time, with for over 13 years, we're coming to present an award to an individual in the country. Every other leader, good president, they all come there. And why we're touched, when the board approved that we should come, you know, and um, he couldn't make it because he was he was down there working. That's to show an exceptional person. You know, he wasn't he wasn't he wasn't moved by by receiving the award, just receiving the awards in the House of Parliament. And that says only to an individual. And he was still there planting trees. You know, and we discussed this. It was very unlike and every African, you know, would want to receive that kind of prestigious award in the parliament. You know? So it was touching. When we discussed in the board, we were surprised that there's someone out there that is so passionate about his work. Can we also give him another round of applause, please? His, his initials. Yeah. There's a part in somewhere in Nigeria. I think the the Yoruba speaking people. Obi A means Oba. I mean, he means king. So he's the new king of the Great Green Wall. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Our patron, who was a former president of Mauritius, is on the screen. She also sent a very powerful message to this office. Astonished, you know, by the work um, he's committed himself to do. You know, it's very rare when you see a director general of, you know, it's passion. And 
and that's what we want other applicants to to emulate his his um, consistency. So upon the recommendation of the advisory board and upon the authorization granted by the board of trustees of the African Achievers Award, we will honor you with the African Sustainable Development African African Achievers Award, and this is going to be presented to you, sir. Can we also give him another round of applause?